Hey, what's good viewers? This is Spanky. Today I've got the Marvel Legends Infinite Series Marvel Now Iron Man. Before I open it up, my first complaint would be that he actually doesn't look very much like the Marvel Now Iron Man. He resembles, but they definitely took the cheap route and reused some old armor from an older Iron Man figure, likely from the Thanos wave. And it doesn't actually look exactly like the Marvel Now version of this Iron Man, the black and gold. I mean, that's pretty much all it resembles, really, is just the black and gold. That's pretty much the only resemblance that we're actually going to get out of that. Um, it's it's similar, but really, it, they really messed it up. It doesn't really look like the one from the comic, which is disappointing. Because in my opinion, it's just a repaint, and they just said, Oh, look, it's the Marvel Now version, when it actually is not, so don't be fooled by that. Anyways, let's open it up. So I gotta take the foot out of my mouth because he actually does look a lot more like the Marvel Now version than I thought. Depending on which rendition, he doesn't look too much like this. All they really did though was basically take the faceplate off the movie version of the Iron Man and put it on the comic version so people could relate to it more probably. But he does look a lot more like the Marvel Now version than I actually thought he did. Um, it's not too, it's not exactly like it. I was half right though, this is pretty much just a reuse, a reuse mold. I've got some pretty good paint apps on mine, the mold looks pretty well, although it is just a remold. Uh, nothing, no black really showing through the gold on mine, you can see these little red dots there. I'm not too impressed by those, they look almost like stickers, I'm not sure what they are. I guess they're supposed to look like, you know, lights, but they don't really give that illusion at all. Uh, these are definitely reused hands, and again, they put like, it looks like stickers, but it's not, it's just weird paint apps. I'm pretty sure they're supposed to be lights. Again, that doesn't look like lights. I'm not convinced. It's really not too impressive. Uh, but the paint apps on the gold and black aren't too bad. And the chest even has that weird sticker look to it. I, I don't like that at all. I, I really gotta say, I don't. It looks, it looks really cheesy. It looks bad. You can see him on his calves there. Um... But overall, the other paint apps just aren't too bad, and it shouldn't be because this is just a remold, so they better have freaking put some effort into the paint here. Uh, the overall design, I'm not too thrilled with. I'm more of a classic Iron Man look. Uh, this is just too clunky looking for me for a comic version. And, you know, they're really doing this just to appeal to the people who might have already seen the movies, and they want to see something similar, but not exactly like the movie. So they make it black and gold and say, oh, look at this. And this is also has like liquid powers to it. It has the extremist still. Iron Man still has the extremist. So I think it's actually liquid, something like that. Some Terminator type crap. But yeah, overall, that's the mold. Those are the paint apps. Let's get to the articulation. Iron Man can look down that far. He can look up that high. So pretty good range of motion there. He does the exorcist. Arms can go up that high. His, uh, his shoulder pads here are on a hinge, so they don't restrict articulation too bad. But of course, he can't do the 360 because of that. But we still do get pretty good range of motion. So those arm pads here, or shoulder pads, are pretty forgiving. He's got an upper bicep swivel. We get a double jointed elbow here, twist right here, and we get a hinge on the wrists. But it can't go back as far because of his gauntlets restricting the articulation. Those. Shoulder pads often do come off, pop right off. Ab crunch is alright. He doesn't look forward at all, actually. He can look back just a little bit. Leg articulation, I'm having actually a weird time trying to figure out how this thing works. I think it's just an old type joint. Yeah, we get the old, you gotta turn it just so you can kick it upwards. There you go. I don't like, th those are pretty some old school joints. Just re- uh, Reiterizing the fact that this is definitely an older mold because I don't think they really do use these molds anymore. Here's the refit here I just reviewed, just to prove that they don't actually use those old ball joints on the hips much anymore at all. So, like I said, this is definitely an old mold. And there's my proof. I ain't a liar. I do like how they added some design here on the hips though to hide that joint. That was a pretty neat job right there. I missed that earlier when looking at the mold. Um, so anyways, you gotta twist that around to get it to go. He does have a upper thigh swivel. It's just really hard to get at. You have to hold the ball joint still. And then he's got a double jointed knee here. 
I mean, he's got some old ankle joints here. They really don't move at all. I can't, this is pretty much all they do. You know, they don't do much at all. I don't even think there's an ankle rocker on these things, so that's pretty disappointing. And it's because his armor right here is restricting it. Overall, I'm definitely not a big fan of this Iron Man at all. I pretty much just got it to complete my Build-A-Figure piece. The paint apps were okay. The mold is okay. It's an old mold. It's reused. It looked a lot more like the Marvel Now version than I had first assumed. But not completely like it. They they did enough to make it look like, you know, they had those little red dots there. To They did enough to make it look like it. Let's just say that. Or to make it pass. To say, well, see, we did. It is the Marvel Now version. So they can at least say that, I guess. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to recommend it. But Big Bad Toy Store, link in the link description below. If you do like it yourself, you know, this is just my personal opinion. So you're allowed to disagree. But either than that, you can also get uh, all the rest of the figures from Big Bad Toy Store to build that uh, huge Hulkbuster bath. Other than that, I want to thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. I do appreciate it. Um, later.